Hello, this is Ben from Power. I'm going to show you how to install a Power plugin inside of a Drupal 8 installation. I'm assuming here that you've already installed the Power plugin inside of the Extend section of Drupal 8. So if I look at my modules and type Power, I have my Power Form Builder and Power Social Feed installed. If you have not yet done that, please see the description of this video for a link of how to download these modules. So first we're going to click the Configuration tab inside of Drupal 8 and go to Content Authoring, click Text Formats and Editors. This is where we configure our text editors. So I'm going to go to the full HTML and configure. Now if I've installed my Power Plugin, there's two nice new blue buttons here. Uh, one will allow you to easily add the Power Plugin that you've installed. In this case, it's Power Form Builder although it's the same for our other plugins as well. You'll have one blue icon for the plugin itself. And then you'll have a second plugin for Power in general, which will allow you to add other Power plugins or Power apps easily. I've added them here to the Media section. You can add them to whichever section you'd like. And that's it. I'm just going to click Save Configuration. Okay, let's see this in action. Okay, so let's create a new content page. Uh, we can create a basic page, a test basic page. And you can see here in our editor, uh, we should have two new buttons, one to insert a Power Form Builder and one to insert any Power Plugin. Uh, important note, if you're going to add Power Plugins here, you need to set the text format to full HTML so they'll render properly. So here are two new buttons for Power. We can easily add a Form Builder by clicking Insert Power Form Builder or we can go to the Power drop-down and select from multiple different Power plugins. So here I've added the Power Form. To edit the form, I can simply click this Edit button, or I can edit it in my live page by clicking Preview, uh, and I'll also be able to edit. This Edit Form Builder button will only appear because you're the owner of the app. Your users will not see this Edit Form Builder button. And that's it. I can design this form in real time. So that's all you need to do to install Power inside of Drupal 8. Remember you can come to Power.io to manage your plugins and get help and tips about how to grow your online business. Thanks for watching.